In this video, I want to show you how you can refresh multiple Power BI reports using a single button with Power Automate. I'm going to show you how you can set this up quite easily using Power BI and also how you can set it up to refresh individual reports as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the ability to refresh multiple datasets uh, is actually a request that came from one of you guys. And it's something that I wanted to show you because of how easy it is to implement if you know what you're doing in Power Automate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse one of the reports that I built for a previous video. So this report is showing you the stock prices for a specific uh, stock, Amazon. But the video itself was about showing how you can get the latest stock prices using the Yahoo Finance API. Now, if you want to learn more about that solution, check out that other video that I made. The data in this report though is not too important. We're simply using it as an example of a report that you may want to manually refresh. The only thing that we want to maybe add here first is the last refresh date, just to show the date and time of when this data set was updated. So I'm gonna quickly do that in Power Query. So I'm gonna create a new table here, enter data. Uh, data we're creating a separate table here in power query and not as a dax measure because we want this to be updated when the data set is refreshed not when the data is being viewed in power bi so i'm gonna create a custom column here and we're gonna name this one date so I'm gonna write dates time that local now that will just simply get the current time and date of when it was refreshed. So in this case, it's just the current time right now. I'm gonna change that to a date time. I'm gonna remove this one, hit close and apply. Now I'm going to just add it quickly on the top right hand side just to show when this data was last refreshed. So last refresh date. I'm going to add a value here. Last refresh date, which should come up here. We'll keep the time as well just because we are testing it right now and it will just take us a few minutes. So I want to show you how this updates as we uh, update and uh, refresh the report using Power Automate. So I'm gonna save this. So I'm gonna publish this report onto the Power BI service. I've created a workspace for it already stocks. So it should be fairly simple. But what I want to do is actually create a couple more instances or because we want to pretend that we have a few more reports that we want to refresh individually. So I'm going to name this one Amazon 2, this one Amazon 3. But it could be uh, different stocks that you might want to have in separate reports, which doesn't quite make sense. But uh, we're going to look at how we can refresh each of these data sets individually or together. So now that all of our reports are published into the service, let's have a look at them in the Power BI service in our workspace. So if I just go here, I know that this is the stock, so I'll just refresh it. Let's have a look. Here we go. So we have the three reports as we saw it in Power BI desktop, along with the data sets, which is the ones that we need to refresh. Now, if you want to refresh them manually, you can do them here quite simply. So if you just hit the refresh button right here, for example, you'll see that it will 
updates. So if we just look at it right here, you'll see that the last refresh date has updated like what we have here. Now, if we want to refresh all of these data sets, it can be quite easy by just clicking the refresh on all of these uh, data sets here in the workspace. But what if we want an option to refresh them all with just one button? We can set this up quite easily in Power Automate. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start a new Power BI report here in our Power BI desktop. Here we are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Power Automate for Power BI. It will add a visual here in our page. We will simply hit the ellipsis, then edit. This will bring up the Power Automate screen, which is what you would normally see if you just went to the Power Automate website. You have a few options here, but uh, here you only have the option to instant Cloudflow. So which means that if a button is clicked, you want to do something. So from here, we're gonna add a new step and we're gonna look for something called refresh a data set. So this will allow you to specify a data set that you want to refresh within the workspaces that you have access to. So in this case, we know that the data sets that we want is in the stocks workspace and we can set it up to refresh the first data set, Amazon. But if we want to refresh all the other data sets within this workspace, we can simply keep adding more steps here. So let's say refresh a data set here. We'll do the same thing. Set this up to refresh the second one. And then finally, let's just add the final one here so I can show you that it works. Here we go. Hit save. Save and apply. So what this will do is it will create a button that when it's clicked, it will refresh all those three data sets by following this flow. So let's go back to our report here. Now we have this button run flow, which if I control click to trigger, you'll see that it will be triggered here. Let's have a look at what happens here in our Power BI report uh, in our workspace. So you'll see that all of them would have updated. So this one is still loading, but right now it's five o'clock in the evening and it will update all three of these data sets with just one click of that button. So from this Power BI report, you can use it as a means to uh, control all of your data set refreshes within this one report by just clicking uh, this button or you can set up individual buttons to refresh individual data sets as you wish. So you can, for example, let's say you want to simply refresh one data set instead of all of them. You simply follow the steps that we've done just now. So create a new instant Cloudflow. So when the button is clicked, you want to simply refresh the data sets that you want. If you have a new data sets that you want to include in this refresh all button, you simply have to go back to the button, click edit and go to your flow and simply add a step to refresh that data set quite easily. So you just hit add a new step here, look for uh, refresh the refresh data sets, look for the data sets that you want to refresh and that's automatically hooked up to this button. Power BI dataset refreshes don't have to be tied to a button click as well. You can set it up as part of a schedule. Setting up a singular schedule in Power Automate is a more manageable way to ensure that your reports follow the same schedule as opposed to having individual refresh schedules. So if I show you here, for example, if you wanted to create a new uh, Power Automate. So instead of instant Cloudflow, which is a trigger, you can simply create an automated or scheduled Cloudflow. So you will say that every day at 9 a.m. you want something to happen. 
refresh all data sets. And we want to repeat it every day, let's just say. So if you hit create, you will see that this layout and format will look very familiar because you will just simply from here follow the same steps that you've done in Power BI, which is to simply look for the action refresh uh, data sets. And you can set it up here so that it refreshes on a scheduled basis. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is for you to set up a button or a schedule to refresh all your Power BI datasets. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.